Hey everybody, Pastor Steve here. Today we are in Psalm 119, which is the longest chapter in the Bible. We, um, I divided this psalm up into several sections and we'll read those from time to time over three years. Just a reminder of uh, the importance of God's Word because Psalm 119 is all about God's Word. It's, and, and God's Word is referred to by uh, different uh, names or terms or analogies in Psalm 119. The, your Word, your, your testimonies, your statutes, your ordinances, your, your, uh, your precepts, your law, on and on. All referring to just the Word of God, the truth of God, the message of God. And uh, there, there are three or four verses that just had ideas that spoke to my heart and mind as I was reading it this time. The first one is in verse 114, Psalm 119, verse 114, where he says, You are my hiding place and my shield. I wait for your word. That phrase, I wait for your word. We are not, as Americans, a very patient people, are we? And sometimes it takes patience to read God's Word, to begin to understand it and apply it to our lives, patience to get a clear word from God. Recently we read chapters from the book of Jeremiah, and you remember when that group was taking Jeremiah by force to Egypt, they asked him to pray. They wanted to know what God said. And Jeremiah prayed, but it took 10 days before God answered Jeremiah, before he got a word from God. Sometimes we have to have the patience to wait. And all of a sudden, the, 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 the insight will come, the understanding, the word will come. Patience. Verse 125. Verse 125. Um, I am your servant. Give me understanding that I may know your testimonies. Um, you can know a fact. doesn't mean you understand it. You may be able to quote something in the Bible. doesn't mean you understand it. We want to understand it so we can fully know it and do it. And what he does here, he says, he, he, he prays, I'm, I'm your servant. Give me. James says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to all liberally or generously. In other words, pray. When, when you read the scripture, you need to be combining that with prayer for God to help you understand, for God to teach you, God to show you, God to speak it into your life and how he wants you to respond. So always join prayer with your Bible reading. Another verse that spoke to me is verse 130. He says, the unfolding of your word gives light. It gives understanding to the simple, the unfolding. You know, you like you unfold something, you open it up so you can see it. And it's the unfolding of God's word that gives light and understanding. Um, I like the image that that through persistence in reading God's Word and praying about it and reflecting and being patient, God begins to unfold it, okay? And, and as He unfolds it, I see more, I understand more, I gain more wisdom, godly wisdom, not earthly wisdom, godly wisdom. And then that leads to me to knowing and understanding God's Word and it changes it changes my life. It's, it's, it's the idea that, that consistency over time pays off. But if you lack the patience, you lack the willingness to wait, you, you, you don't have the, the, the commitment to persevere and stick with it, then it's not going to unfold. But over time, God's Word unfolds and you begin to see and understand and learn and change and grow. See how all these are working together? And then a final word that spoke to me is verse 133. He says, he's talking to God, he says, establish my footsteps in your word 
and do not let any iniquity have dominion over me. Now, establish my footsteps in your work. I have this image of, you know, a child walking behind mom or dad and stepping where mom or dad stepped. God, establish my footsteps in your word. Let me walk in your, your word. Because when I do that, I'm on the path that you're establishing, God, and I'm not going off to the left, I'm not going off to the right, and because I'm staying on the path that you are putting my feet on, I'm not going to be living in sin. Another reason you need to be reading God's word consistently, praying about it, discussing it, you will find yourself, the more consistently you do this, the more you become like Jesus the more faithful you will be as a disciple, the more godly you will actually live. But if you don't stay consistent and you don't let God set your steps, your feet, your path, your walking in his word, your feet are going to step in other stuff and sometimes that other stuff smells and is messy and is painful. So let God establish your feet in his word so that your life can be whole and healthy and godly. That's the word for today. Tomorrow, we will be in Psalm 81. Oh, oh, remember, pray right now for opportunities to talk to someone about Jesus, opportunities to invite someone to church. Pray about that right now, and then ask God to give you the boldness to speak up when they come. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.